Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together and I hope all of you are preparing uh, in a highly focused manner and in the same way giving your 110% effort for the upcoming KCT 2023 preparation and during this time even if your uh, parents feel that you haven't prepared well and even if your uh, friends or if your neighbors or anybody in that matter feels that you haven't prepared well then uh, keep everything aside guys because trust me if you are giving your 110% then success will be yours you need, need not listen things from your neighbors or from your friends or anybody in that matter now coming to the intention of making this video this video will be based upon the do or die chapters or the most important chapters which you have to deal in these uh, remaining around 10 days because these chapters are important and when it when you uh, see the tag of do or die then you may understand the importance of these chapters i need not talk much about it now again before uh, moving on to the video uh, one thing is a prerequisite for this because uh, in order to understand the do or die chapters for physics you need to have a clear understanding and a transparent understanding of what actually is happening in KCT exam. I have already uploaded a video wherein I have discussed about the chapter wise weightage when it comes to the physics part. If you haven't viewed it yet or if you haven't watched it yet then please watch it before watching this video guys because uh, if you directly watch this video then you may be having some trust issues with me but when you see that video and then understand the chapter wise weightage for the previous 10 years and how the trend is going on you will be able to develop a lot of trust in what I will be saying in this video and in the same way inculcate it in order to uh, succeed in the physics part of your KCT 2023 exam guys. If you are new to our channel or if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet then kindly subscribe to our channel immediately cause I will be uploading uh, same kind of videos in the coming future where I will be with you till your KCT exam every day and I will be trying to upload a new video which will be informative for you and in the same way help you out with your preparation and along with that even after KCT exam I will be helping you out with each and everything regarding the counselling regarding your rank versus marks analysis and things like that so uh, subscribing our channel will be a good thing for you if you are a KCT 2023 aspirant yeah with that note now let's start this video guys yeah now uh, before moving on to the do or die chapters for kct uh, for an exam like kct or for an for an entrance exam like kct or je or neat uh, it is equally important to have a solid understanding of all the chapters which come under the syllabus part of it but uh, in physics part of it there are some chapters which are considered to be more important and in the same way carry more weightage that will help you get a lot of marks by studying a, a small chunk of chapters. So this is what this uh, video is mainly based upon. I will be now uh, going through each and every uh, do or day chapter. There are around 8 to 9 chapters which you must be mastering in these 10 days in order to reach that 45 plus mark or the 50 plus mark in physics which will put you into a great position guys. Yeah now the first key chapter when it comes to physics is loss of motion. Yes guys this is quite an easy chapter if you know how to go about it let the roadmap be like this if you are someone who knows how to arrive to the FBD or else the free body diagram when you are given a force system and if you know how to resolve the forces which are acting on the body in the x direction and y direction respectively then I am pretty sure that you are half done in this unit yes guys if you are in a position wherein you will be able to do these things then you are half done for this chapter try to learn the remaining uh, part of it which involves a little bit of mathematics and a little bit of applying uh, equilibrium conditions based on the conditions which have been given in the question you should be able to play around with the force system and that uh, doesn't require a lot of time if you are someone who knows how to resolve the forces and in the same way uh, arrive to the fbd from the uh, given force system so I, uh, you may understand that this chapter is quite worth if you deal it uh, today itself because this also holds a lot of weightage you can uh, check it out in the chapter wise weightage too and I would suggest you to complete it as soon as possible if possible today itself. Yeah this is done and then uh, the second thing is gravitation. Uh, I always see this gravitation and electrostatics as one unit itself guys I don't know why but uh, many things are quite similar in this when it comes to uh, universal gravitational law and Coulomb's law these things are analogous for me and I feel this uh, uh, gravitation and electrostatics to be uh, in the same line and now again these two are do or die chapters for you and you have to deal them irrespective of whether you have dealt it or not. So now in the remaining 10 days you should be first doing loss of motion 
and then coming to gravitation when it comes to 11th part again electrostatics i have already described the importance of electrostatics in my previous video wherein i have discussed how to uh, analyze the chapter wise weightage of physics and i have given the 10 years chapter wise analysis too as i mentioned earlier in the video if you haven't viewed it yet or if you haven't watched it yet kindly watch it also so that will be a, a kind of big add on for your preparation even electrostatics again contains important concepts like coulomb's law and electric field electric charge and electrostatic potential and in the same way gauss law is highly important guys i am i am seeing a question from gauss law continuously since the past 3 years and that gives it a lot of importance and i hope you have understood the gauss law thing correctly and uh, again the concepts in electrostatics become equally important now going to the next one which is current electricity if you are someone who have understood electrostatics correctly then current electricity will be a cakewalk so understanding electrostatics correctly is important before moving on to current electricity part again current electricity focuses on topics like uh, ohms law kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's current law and electrical measurements and uh, things like potentiometer and all you should be able to have a brief understanding regarding all the concepts present here and in the same way uh, solving circuits is one thing uh, which is being repeated uh, when you ask me in the recent times so circuit problems you should be able to arrive to the final answer using kvl and kcl respectively so these are things which you have to keep in mind when it come to current electricity current electricity again is a good chapter to deal with cause it is uh, it involves a lot of practicality and you will be able to understand things easily compared to the other chapters and uh, in order to get some confidence solve some 10 to 12 problems which have come in uh, previous 3 to 4 years or 5 years in order to get some confidence moving uh, going to the kcd 2023 exam yeah current electricity is done now you have a uh, brief hold or you have a nice hold on concepts like electrostatics and electrodynamics which is current electricity now is the time wherein you can easily sail through a chapter called electromagnetic induction yes guys electromagnetic induction faraday's law becomes really important when you understand faraday's law when you understand that uh, the relative motion between the coil and the magnet produces an electric current in the coil that all that provides you a highly uh, strong foundation for the chapter moving on wherein there will be uh, higher concepts like self inductance mutual inductance and lenz law things like this you can just easily sail through if you know the basic understanding of the faraday's law then uh, again here you should be uh, having a brief idea of what actually magnetic flux is and when there is relative motion why does the magnetic flux change and the factors affecting the magnetic flux yeah if i just go on speaking i'll be able to speak for around 5 minutes based on this chapter itself cause i have a soft corner for this chapter because i like it a lot yeah uh, things like that should be taken care of and electromagnetic induction is like a cake walk and is a good chapter wherein easy questions will be coming theoretical questions will be coming and you can easily sail through that to get a lot of marks therein again uh, one question which i am uh, able to remember from my kcd 2022 exam is uh, the direction of the current induced so that thing should be taken care of you should be knowing certain rules uh, left hand rule right hand thumb rule and uh, curl rule and things like that maxwell's screw screw rule and things like that so that will help you uh, solve some two to three questions which come from this chapter regularly and in the same way increase your marks a lot again uh, when you are done with electromagnetic induction then comes a kind of different unit so currently you will be in a zone wherein you will be dealing about electrostatics electrodynamics or current electricity again electromagnetic induction suddenly there will be a shift in the concept uh, wherein you will be entering ray optics or the optics kind of thing wherein optics is a bigger branch and then when it's subdivided you know that there are there is ray optics and there is wave, wave optics ray optics deals with the ray nature of the light and if you are someone who has mastered this thing during your 10th class then if your foundation is strong then even you will be sail, able to sail through that uh, ray optics here the one thing which is extra here is total internal reflection that holds a lot of weightage uh, and i have been seeing uh, questions directly coming from it in past 2 to 3 years so uh, let that be in your mind and again things like optical instruments wherein you will be dealing about simple microscope compound microscope and that equations uh, which are there that should be in your mind and again you should be able to uh, recall all the concepts which you have learnt in 10th uh, a mirror an object in front of a mirror linear magnification things like that i hope you, all of you will be comfortable with this chapter and then again wave optics you should be able to uh, understand how the wave nature of light works and 
Young double slit experiment becomes really important there. Interference, constructive and destructive. Yeah, these are things which you can uh, deal with since it has some practicality. And again, if you go through the previous year, uh, previous year papers of KCET, you will be able to understand the theoretical questions are coming from this chapter and you can uh, save time too. Because time becomes really important guys. I will be uploading a video wherein I will be discussing about how to manage your time in your KCET exam. Because the time management plays an important, important role in that exam. And if you fail in time management, then all your effort which you are putting now will be uh, going in vain. So I'll be coming up with a video uh, as soon as possible. Again, after optics, uh, this chapter again has a soft corner in my heart because this also is quite, I feel it as quite easy. And in the same way, it holds a lot of uh, weightage, not only in KCD, but even in NEET and JE also. So the chapter name is Modern Physics. This contains around five to six questions every year. So here uh, there is there are things like dual nature of radiation and matter and things like uh, atomic structure and how electrons are available in the atom and in the same way uh, some relations here relations become really important what is directly proportional to what the energy is directly proportional to 1 by r square or r square or things like that I'm just uh, going arbitrarily so the relations become really important then uh, in the end one more chapter which you uh, must try to complete in these 10 days even if you leave out some chapters these uh, one more do or die chapter which comes to my mind based on the weightage of uh, previous 10 years is oscillations and waves so this chapter may you may find it tricky but i have a one shot video which i referred which uh, gave me a different uh, understanding altogether based on these oscillations and waves i'll be giving the link in the description it is not any kind of promotion guys i'm just trying to help you out as much as i can and in the process I'll be giving uh, links like this which in which I'll be giving uh, videos which I referred in order to tackle difficult chapters and again oscillations and waves is uh, one of those chapters which many people find it difficult and I'll be uh, giving the link for it go through it you'll be able to understand it very nicely and in, you'll be getting a different perspective altogether that will help you solve a lot of problems in seconds wherein you'll be again able to save some time for uh, kinematics questions which require a lot of time. Yeah, this was it guys. So this was it from my end when it comes to the do or die chapters for physics. And again, uh, I'd like to mention that all the other chapters are also equally important. But for KCET physics part, these are chapters which the examiner is uh, stressing more upon and in the same way uh, carrying more weightage. So I just thought of making a video wherein you will be able to add these chapters to your priority list and finish them off as soon as possible since they carry a lot of weightage. Again, uh, during this last 10 days, you will have a lot of confusion and you will have a lot of tension regarding can I do it? So can I crack KCT? What if I didn't do? Can I take a drop here? Leave all those things aside guys. I have seen some of you guys commenting regarding taking a drop here now itself. The exam is not yet over. 10 days is quite a big deal if you are ready to give your 110% effort. Think of life after KCT. I have been telling this uh, since around 3 to 4 videos. Think of life after KCT. Think of you being in your dream college, studying your dream branch. That will drive you like anything when it uh, when you are uh, running out of motivation. Just try to trust the process and then uh, rather not think about the results. Because when you trust the process and when you are giving your 100% effort and when you are uh, highly focused in doing something, results will automatically follow. Guys, you will be able to tell this to me once you come out of your KCT 2023 exam, if you work now. So regretting after KCT 2023 exam gives you nothing. So there is no other pain in this world which is greater than the pain of regret. So that is what I would like to tell you in this video because uh, I don't want you guys who are in my community to regret of not preparing well in these 10 days. So give your 110% effort. Even if your KCT exam didn't go well, you will be proud of the work you have put in in these last 10 to 12 days and you will be able to be proud of yourself that you are capable of giving your 110% effort to anything that will give you a lot of confidence going on to uh, many challenges which come in your life when you move ahead. Yeah, with that note, this is Darshan Escoda signing off guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and share this video to your friends too if they are also preparing for their upcoming KCAT 2023 exam so that it may help them in a good manner. Yeah, again, if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions for the upcoming videos, then kindly put it in the comment section so that I'll be able to go through them. And again, if you have something which you uh, need to tell me personally or ask me personally, I'm always available to you through my Instagram handle or my uh, Telegram group. In the end, all I need, all I expect from you is your 
dedicated preparation for the upcoming 10 days yeah i hope you won't uh, compromise that for me yeah thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye